Hey, this is Ralph, and this video, I just wanna go over commenting out your HTML and or CSS. This question always seems to pop up in the first week of class. So let's make sure we know how to do it, and we'll check out a quick little uh, keyboard shortcut for VS Code. All right, so I've got a blank old page set up here. Now, commenting is great because it allows you to describe sections of your page or your style sheet which are meaningful to you. Now, comments can be seen by people that view your source code, but if they're written properly, they won't have any impact on your web page's loading and function. Okay, so let's see, I've got my web page set up and let's say I wanna comment out some sections. Now, because I'm doing this comment inside of my HTML portion of my web page, I need to use an HTML comment. And the syntax is different than for like a CSS comment. So it's angle bracket, exclamation, hyphen, hyphen, and VS Code is automatically throwing in the latter part there for me. Let me zoom in a shade on this. And then I can start to put out, this as my, maybe my standard meta tags, something like that. And I'll do another comment down here. And these are my uh, favicon, um, no, just favicon area, or we might have something like that. So you'll notice the syntax, angle bracket, exclamation, hyphen, hyphen, and then uh, you can put spaces in there, spaces in essential, and then whatever text you want, and of course then hyphen, hyphen, closing angle bracket. Notice the exclamation is only at the beginning. So that's a quick HTML comment. Now I'm putting this up in the, uh, in the head section, but it works just the same in the body. So down here in the body of my page, in between my header and footer, I could put in a comment, something like a experiment paragraph right there. And then afterwards, I can create a paragraph. This is a paragraph. Perfect. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a class on this. Test P for test paragraph. Okay, so that's an HTML comment. Use them as much as you want in order to feel good about what you're typing. Sometimes if I'm doing a big, big web page and I know it's gonna have a lot of content on it, I might go to something down at the very bottom. Let's say maybe I'm using a container div and that's the closing div right there. End of my container div. I'll put a comment there just so I know that that closing div has a purpose and sometimes it's hard to keep track of what its purpose is. Similarly, we can do CSS comments. So I'll do some styling right up here. Dot test P for my test paragraph. Background color red. Width 90%. And let's see, how about margin 200 pixels auto, 200 pixels space auto to center it. So this test paragraph should look noticeably different. Looks just like a red bar because the font size is so small. So let me just do that. Font size, four M's, color of that font, bright white. So now it's really gonna pop. Okay, so there's my paragraph. Now I'll say I love this paragraph, but I want to maybe test some things out. Maybe I need a little bit of uh, explanation for some stuff. So maybe it was something like this margin I can put a comment off to the side. This time I'm gonna type slash asterisk space, and this is gonna be the top bottom margin, and then the left right margin. So I know that the 200 pixels is my top and bottom, and the auto is my left and right. And at the end of that comment, asterisk slash. So notice the syntax of the CSS comment, quite a bit different looking, than the uh, syntax for the HTML comment. And I have to use this syntax because I'm within the style section of my web page, which is where all my CSS goes. Okay, well that's pretty good. Now here's something else we can do. And by the way, this has no impact whatsoever on my page. Now here's a great feature in VS Code. You can press Control slash in order to automatically comment out the line. So for instance, let's say I like this but I'm a little bit concerned that maybe my font size is breaking something or I wanna see how things are looking without that font size, but I don't wanna get rid of this because maybe my partner or my team, they, they're gonna want that back. So I can just click anywhere on that font size 4M and then 
control slash, and that line gets commented out using CSS comments. Now, now that it's commented out, it's not going to work on the page. So if I head over here, my font size is back to tiny again. However, the other CSS is working. The white font, the red background, the width and stuff. I can do the same thing here with 90%. With Control slash comments out that width, and now it defaults to 100%, which is normal for a paragraph or any block. Great. We do the same thing with HTML. I can go to this paragraph right here. This time, I'm going to select the entire paragraph. Opening paragraph tag, text, closing paragraph tag, control slash, and this whole paragraph gets commented out. It's no longer part of my web page, yet the code is right there. And if I need to, ah, no big deal. Actually, I haven't tried this yet. Oh, look at that. You can select the entire comment, control slash, and it gets rid of that commenting. Pretty cool. I bet if I did something like this where it says experiment paragraph, control slash, and it's just regular text. Control slash again, it becomes a comment. Perfect. So definitely start using comments in both your HTML and your CSS. And don't forget, control slash in VS Code to turn comments on and off. In uh, the Mac, it should be command slash. Thanks for hanging out with me.